Welcome to BT Travel. I'm your host, Sabrina, here to guide you in all things Barbadian and vacation. Today we are in the beautiful Flora Forest, surrounded by all these trees and beautiful flowers. We'll be chatting with David, the owner and manager, and taking a walk through these beautiful trails. So come with us and enjoy. Just off the west of the Scotland district in St. Joseph, on over 50 acres of land, surrounded by lush fauna and flora, is the flower flowers of Barbados. Become immersed in the tranquil and serene paths within the largest flower flowers of Barbados. Learn about unique and rare tropical flowers on the self-guided tour. Spend hours relaxing on the cool, breezy trails, de-stressing and becoming one with nature. After a well-worked up appetite, enjoy lunch at a cafe with a selection of Beijing delicacies. Then off to the gift shop for some crafted local art like mahogany carved items, decor made from beautiful local sea glass, or take home some handmade pottery earthworks. The services don't end there. The Flower Forest is great for weddings, church events, and school tours as well. We chatted with David Spieler, the owner and manager, about his love and passion for the Flower Forest. So David, tell us a little bit about the inception and the beginnings of the Flower Forest. Oh, okay, the Flower Forest was developed in the 1980s originally mm -hmm. to be a garden tourist attraction. Yes. And it has been very, very successful um, over the course of time of its history during various phases. Um, I have been the custodian of it for 12 years now. And during my custodianship, uh, I have redeveloped it. I renovated the building so that the kitchen and the bathrooms are beautiful with the earthworks fixtures. And of course, the deck that we're sitting on made from the recycled materials um, that withstands the elements of the tropical rainforest environment that we have out here in the hills of the Scotland district. <laughs> yeah, this is absolutely beautiful, guys. <laughs> We've just came here on the deck outside of the restaurant and I'm already amazed by the amount of flowers, the variety. Tell us a little bit about some of these very unique flower types I have never seen in Barbados. How were you able to incorporate them into Barbados and the tropics? Well, there's there's really no secret with plants. Plant you have to love them, yes. and of course at the flower forest with our tropical environment and our clay soil that stays moist almost throughout the dry season, it's easier to keep plants alive. Mm -hmm. And one of my hobbies is to go out to the world and find plants that will grow at flower forest. There are a lot of plants that um, we've 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 brought to Flower Forest and a lot of them are growing the ginger lilies, the heliconia collection, the anthurium collection are cherishable and those collections that, um, that we at Flower Forest have brought and planted from Barbados and from further afield make us proud. One of my hobbies is to go on the social media and to meet with groups of people who may want plants. Uh, right now our coffee harvest is on. Ah. I maybe have uh, 20 or 30 coffee trees. Oh. I have coffee beans. You want to grow coffee? I have coffee beans. Here. I did coffee. not know you can grow <laughs> coffee in Barbados. That is amazing. That is amazing. It is beautiful here. It is worth the drive. It is worth every cent. Guys, Flora Forest, make it a place to come and be when you are here in Barbados and for locals as well. For schools, you have to bring your kids, any of your agricultural teachers out there, and you want to show kids the vast world of plant and horticulture, you really need to bring your kids here. And don't forget the churches. Yes, the churches will be great here for their retreats, as you said, for weddings as well. Weddings, yes. We have fantastic facilities mm -hmm. um, where you can have a wedding of up to 100, 120 people. What? You can get married outside or you can get married inside. Then yeah. you can have your reception and you don't have to go far to take your photographs yeah. because you have excellent viewpoints and places to get those amazing photographs. 
right here in the garden. Thank you, David. I enjoyed chatting with you and I look forward to our walk in the gardens. Looking forward to it as well. Yes. Let's go. Yes. I hope you've enjoyed these snippets of the beautiful flower forest. Trust me, it is even more beautiful in person and it deserves a visit from each and every one of you. As always, stay positive, but be safe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.